Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Today, we're diving into 15 money habits that keep you poor for life. Let's be real, nobody wants to struggle with money forever. We all want to achieve financial freedom and live life on our own terms. But here's the thing, your habits can either make or break your financial future. You see it all the time, people stuck in a cycle of debt, living paycheck to paycheck, and never quite getting ahead. It's often not about how much money they make, but how they manage it. That's why we're going to expose these damaging financial habits and, more importantly, show you how to break free from them. We'll be covering everything from budgeting and investing to avoiding debt and planning for retirement. These are the fundamental principles that have helped me and countless others build real wealth. Stick around to find out how to avoid these pitfalls, take control of your finances, and set yourself on the path to financial freedom. Let's talk about a habit that can quietly drain your bank account living beyond your means. It's easy to fall into the trap of wanting what you can't afford, especially in the age of social media where everyone seems to be flaunting their latest purchases. You see your favorite influences with fancy cars, designer clothes, and luxurious vacations, and it's tempting to feel like you need to keep up. But here's the reality. Most people showcasing those lavish lifestyles are often in debt up to their eyeballs. They're financing their perceived success on credit cards and loans, creating a dangerous illusion of wealth. Remember, true wealth isn't about showing off. It's about financial security, peace of mind, and having the freedom to pursue your passions without being chained to debt. Don't fall into the trap of comparing yourself to others or trying to impress people you don't even know. Focus on your own financial goals, live within your means, and build a solid foundation for a brighter financial future. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and want more tips on how to avoid financial pitfalls, hit that subscribe button. Your wallet will thank you, and so will we. Imagine trying to navigate a new city without a map or GPS. You'd be lost, right? That's exactly what it's like managing your money without a budget. A budget is your financial roadmap. It gives you a clear picture of your income, expenses, and where your money is going. Without a budget, it's incredibly easy to overspend without even realizing it. Those daily coffees, impulse purchases, and subscription services you barely use can quietly drain your bank account. A budget helps you identify these spending leaks and make conscious decisions about your money. It's not about restricting yourself. It's about prioritizing your spending and making sure your money is working for you, not against you. By tracking your income and expenses, you gain valuable insights into your financial habits and can make informed decisions to improve your financial well-being. So, you're swiping that plastic for your daily coffee, those shoes you don't need, maybe even groceries? Look, I get it. Credit cards are convenient. But using them for everyday purchases is a slippery slope. You're essentially taking out a high interest loan for every single thing you buy. That interest adds up, my friends. Before you know it, you're drowning in debt just trying to pay off last month's avocado toast. Remember those rewards credit card companies dangle in front of you? Cashback points miles. Those are designed to distract you from the real cost, the interest you're racking up. Break the cycle. Use your debit card or even better, cash. Trust me, the feeling of knowing you're not accumulating debt is way better than any fleeting reward points. Listen up, because this is crucial. Investing isn't just for the wealthy. It's the key to building long-term wealth, no matter where you're starting from. You see, when you invest, your money starts working for you. It's like having a little army of money-making minions out there, 24-7. The magic of compounding is real, essentially. It's earning interest on your interest. Over time, even small contributions can grow into significant sums. Don't let fear or lack of knowledge hold you back. There are tons of resources available to help you get started with investing. Do your research, start small, and watch your money grow. Life happens. Your car breaks down, you lose your job, or your basement floods. Unexpected expenses pop up all the time. And trust me, they rarely happen at a convenient time. These moments can be incredibly stressful. That's where an emergency fund comes in. It's your financial safety net, your peace of mind. Without an emergency fund, these unexpected events can derail your finances entirely. You might find yourself scrambling to cover costs and you might be forced to take on high interest debt, miss bill payments, or even worse, face financial ruin. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Be proactive. Start building your emergency fund today, even if it's just a few dollars at a time. Every little bit helps. Ideally, your emergency fund should cover three to six months of living expenses. This might seem like a lot, but it's essential for your financial security. Start small and be consistent. Even 50 or $100 a month adds up over time. Treat your emergency fund like a bill, a non-negotiable expense that you must pay every month. Where should you keep it? A high yield savings account is a good option as it offers easy access and some interest growth. This way, your money is working for you while being readily available. Having that financial cushion will give you peace of mind and the ability to navigate life's unexpected curveballs without derailing your financial progress. So, start today. 
build your emergency fund and secure your financial future. You'll thank yourself later for the peace of mind and stability it brings. And hey, while you're at it, why not hit that subscribe button? Because let's face it, you don't want to miss out on more tips to keep your wallet happy. We've all been there, right? That moment when you're just casually browsing. You're scrolling online, browsing a store, and bam, something catches your eye. You see something that you just have to have. It's like it was made for you. That dopamine rush hits, and suddenly, you're pulling out your credit card without a second thought. It's that instant gratification that gets you. But trust me, it comes with a price, a hidden cost that sneaks up on you. Think about all those little impulse buys you've made recently. They seem harmless, right? That $5 latte every day, the one you can't start your day without, the trendy gadget you saw on Instagram that promised to change your life, or even that on-sale shirt you never ended up wearing. It's still in your closet with the tags on. They might seem insignificant individually, but those small expenses add up like crazy over time. It's shocking when you add it all up. It's like death by a thousand cuts for your bank account. Each small purchase slowly drains your funds. The worst part is, impulse buying often leaves you with a bunch of stuff you don't even need or use. It's just clutter. It's clutter in your house and a drain on your finances. It creates stress and chaos. Instead of building wealth and reaching your financial goals, you're stuck in a cycle. You're stuck in this cycle of instant gratification and buyer's remorse. It's a tough place to be. It's time to break free from that, guys. It's time to take control. In the next section, I'm going to give you some actionable tips to curb those impulse buying urges and start making smarter financial decisions. It's easier than you think. You work hard for your money. Don't let those tempting purchases control you. Take charge and make your money work for you. Look, debt can be a real drag. Whether it's credit card debt, student loans, or personal loans, those monthly payments can feel like a huge weight on your shoulders. And the longer you put off tackling it, the worse it gets. It's like that snowball effect. Ignore it, and it just keeps growing bigger and bigger. One of the biggest mistakes people make is not prioritizing debt repayment. They pay the minimum amount due, get distracted by other expenses, and end up drowning in interest charges. That high interest rate is literally eating away at your potential to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. Imagine what you could do with all that money going towards interest payments. You could be investing it, saving for a down payment, or even just having some breathing room in your budget. Don't let debt control your life. Take charge and make debt repayment a priority. In the next section, we're going to explore some effective strategies to tackle your debt head on and finally break free from that financial burden. I know, I know. Retirement might seem like a lifetime away, especially when you're just starting out. You've got so many other things to worry about right now. Bills, rent. Maybe even that avocado toast, just kidding. Maybe not. But let me tell you, guys, time is your biggest asset when it comes to retirement savings, and the earlier you start, the better. Compound interest is like magic. It's basically interest earned on interest. So, the money you invest early on has more time to grow exponentially. Even small contributions made consistently over time can add up to a significant nest egg by the time you retire. Think of it this way. The longer you wait to start saving, the more you have to contribute later on to catch up. And who wants to be working until they're 80 just to make ends meet? Not me, and I'm guessing not you either. In the next section, we'll explore some actionable steps you can take to start building a comfortable retirement, even if you're starting with a small budget. You know, we live in a world where it's easier than ever to learn just about anything. The internet has made information accessible to everyone, regardless of where you are. Want to learn how to rebuild a car engine? YouTube has countless tutorials. Want to learn how to cook a perfect steak? YouTube has you covered with step-by-step -step guides. But when it comes to something as crucial as your own finances, so many people just avoid it. They shy away from the topic, thinking it's too complex. They think, oh, finance is complicated. I'll never understand it. This mindset is more common than you might think. But that's just not true. With the right resources, anyone can grasp financial concepts. There are countless resources available, from books and blogs to podcasts, and yes, even YouTube channels like this one that break down complex financial concepts into easy to understand language. You just need to take the first step. The truth is, staying financially ignorant is expensive. Think about it. Ignorance can cost you in ways you might not even realize. If you don't understand how interest rates work, you could end up paying thousands more on a loan. This is money that could be saved or invested elsewhere. If you don't understand basic investing principles, you could be missing out on years of potential growth in the market. This could significantly impact your financial future. Don't let financial jargon or fear hold you back. It's all about taking that first step and building your knowledge gradually. Start small, pick one topic at a time, and commit to learning. Over time, you'll build a solid foundation. Trust me, the return on investment you'll get from educating yourself about finances will be far greater than any fancy stock tip you'll ever hear. It's an investment in yourself and your future. Let's be real. Who hasn't dreamed of getting rich quickly? 
That's why lottery tickets sell like hotcakes, and why those investment opportunities promising sky-high returns with little to no risk seem so tempting. But here's the hard truth, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. These get-rich-quick schemes prey on people's desire for easy money and their lack of financial knowledge. They promise you the world, but more often than not, they leave you with nothing but an empty wallet and a mountain of regret. Remember, building wealth takes time, discipline, and smart decision-making. There's no magic shortcut, no secret formula, and definitely no app that's going to turn you into a millionaire overnight. Anyone who tells you otherwise is either trying to sell you something or is completely delusional themselves. We live in a world that often glorifies the hustle of the nine to five grind. Work hard, climb the corporate ladder, and you'll be set, right? Well, not necessarily. Relying solely on a single income source, no matter how stable it may seem, can be incredibly risky. Think about it. What happens if you lose your job unexpectedly? What if you get sick or injured and can't work? Suddenly, that single stream of income dries up, leaving you in a precarious financial situation. This is why diversifying your income streams is so crucial. It's like that old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. By having multiple sources of income, you create a safety net for yourself and your family. That way, if one stream dries up, you have others to fall back on, providing you with financial stability and peace of mind. All right, let's talk about taxes. Nobody likes them, I get it. But ignoring them, that's a recipe for disaster, my friends. You see here, taxes are like that silent partner in your financial life, always there, always taking a cut. The problem is, most people treat taxes like a once a year annoyance. They scramble to file their returns at the last minute, completely missing out on potential savings. But here's the thing, smart tax planning is about being proactive, not reactive. It's about understanding the tax code, leveraging deductions, and minimizing your tax liability throughout the year. Think about it. Every dollar you save in taxes is another dollar you can invest, pay off debt, or put towards your financial goals. Don't underestimate the power of compounding returns even when it comes to tax savings. Let's talk about a silent wealth killer, trying to keep up with the Joneses. We live in a world obsessed with appearances. Social media bombards us with curated lives, showcasing fancy cars, designer clothes, and extravagant vacations. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves and feeling inadequate. Here's the thing, trying to impress others is a never-ending cycle. There will always be someone with a bigger house, a newer car, or a fancier watch. And the truth is, most people who seem to have it all are often drowning in debt, living paycheck to paycheck just to maintain that facade. Don't sacrifice your financial well-being for the fleeting approval of others. Remember, true wealth is about financial freedom, not about keeping up appearances. All right, elite minds, let's talk about financial goals. You wouldn't start driving without knowing your destination, right? Same goes for your money. Without a clear financial target, you're just driving aimlessly, hoping you'll magically end up somewhere good. Spoiler alert, you probably won't. Having specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals, those are your smart goals, is absolutely crucial. Think about it. Do you want to buy a house in five years? Retire early? Travel the world? Whatever it is, write it down and break it down into small, actionable steps. Without that roadmap, it's way too easy to fall into bad financial habits. You start thinking, hey, one more coffee won't hurt, or I'll start investing next month. But those little decisions add up. Before you know it, years have passed, and you're no closer to your dreams. Don't let that be you. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. We've all been there, putting off those less than thrilling tasks. But when it comes to your finances, procrastination can be a silent wealth killer. Think about it. You know you should be investing, but you keep telling yourself, I'll start next month when I have more money. Or maybe you need to create a budget, but you'd rather binge watch another season of your favorite show. Sound familiar? Here's the thing time is your most valuable asset, especially when it comes to building wealth. Every day you put off those important financial decisions is a day you're missing out on potential growth. Compound interest, my friends, is a beautiful thing. The sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow exponentially. But if you keep hitting the snooze button on your financial future, you'll only be hurting yourself in the long run. Thanks for watching Elite Minds. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on achieving financial success. Drop a comment below and let us know which habit you're kicking to the curb first. Remember, self-improvement can be fun. See you in the next video.